Uh, double denim bewitched Russell <laughs> Myers is here. He's looking super gorgeous. And super old as well. He's oh. super grown up. I mean, eight years old today. And this nod you were talking about, about Prince Philip is very subtle, but uh, the eagle-eyed royal watchers have spotted he's on a, sitting on a Land Rover Defender, which was, of course, uh, one of the favoured vehicles of Prince Philip, his great-grandfather. So taken in Norfolk during a little family break earlier in the month, and I think he looks rather, rather happy. And what? And Kate took this one, of course. She did, so we, of we've course. come to expect that, haven't we? Well, she's we? sort of calling the market well, rather wonderfully because, you know, uh, all, all it sort of expect to see these sort of milestones celebrated. And Kate has become an am amateur photographer, quite, quite an accomplished one. And so she takes the photographs of the children and Christmas cards. It's and lovely. Sort of you can see the smile birthday. reaches his eyes. It's that's, lovely. The, that's the difference, it isn't is it? It is nice. That yeah. is the difference. Rather than these sort of stayed images, absolutely. I think they, they play out really a well. Absolutely. There is a really. Um, funny little cartoon in the Daily Mail today. Um, and it shows sort of George's birthday, as it might be. And then it says, Uncle Harry's given me a diary to start keeping. He said, I'd never know when I might need one. Well, it's a cheeky uh, sort of dig at Harry's uh, new memoirs that he's, he's uh, announced that he's um, been working on for, you know, secretly yeah. for the past year or so. And, um, I mean, it, it, I think it's quite, quite, quite funny. I mean, it sort of brings it all together. And um... Well, and also the question is, you know, he's eight now. I mean, they, you, in all families we know, if there's a family rift, you can't really keep it a secret from your kids for very long. Well, I suppose they also think, you know, why haven't we uh, seen Uncle Harry and Auntie Meghan for, for quite a while? No, no doubt they're obviously living in the States, but uh, they, uh, as they grow up, they will become accustomed to all this playing out in the public arena, and, uh, and no doubt they'll, they'll want to wonder why, uh, why it's all come to pass And like how this. do you think that they... Um, would they at this age be talking to George about what he is ordained to do? I mean, you yeah, know no, what I mean. He knows, yeah. does he, at age day, that I will be king one day. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, an of course. It's extraordinary idea I've, listen, that you would have that conversation. It's not a normal family right. at the end of the day, is it? But um, I mean, definitely they'd be bringing him up to, to realise where he's from, the sort of uh, duty that he will have to, to, to carry out in the future. But also, I think that his position in the world, and not only within the family, but also in his public face, role and also on social media as well I think this is quite an interesting point about the pictures why they put the pictures out but also trying to protect him in a way that um they, they speak about other children should be protected well, yeah well. when you you know there's been another blow for Harry as well hasn't there well there has I mean yeah. listen it's uh, the, the headlines have been all uh, about Harry this week his uh, announcement which was sort of hurried out because of um, a uh, an exclusive story in the in, in the states um, revealed that he's been working on this mm -hmm. memoir and so um, it seems that two thirds of the British public, and this is quite an important survey by YouGov, the, poll, the political pollsters, saying that uh, two thirds have absolutely no interest in reading these memoirs. However, I bet there will be some interest across the globe, certainly in the States, where their popularity seems to be soaring. Um, I think they've taken a bit of a bruising of their popularity, both Harry and Meghan, over here because of the way that they've conducted themselves, arguably, over the last couple of years. But um, listen, I think we're all going to be talking about it when they, these memoirs do come out. Uh, yeah, we maybe. will. We will, won't we? Will we see them back in the UK, do you think? Well, this Talk is... Just for a visit, yeah, all of them? Yeah, so it's a big question. Obviously, Harry came back uh, to uh, unveil the Princess Diana statue with his brother. A lot made about that. We, we expected them to be making a speech together and we didn't get it. Um, Harry has since told the family that he, it's his intention to bring uh, baby Lilibet, who is just you know, a few weeks old, over to be christened at, um, at Windsor, in the Windsor Castle Chapel. Um, but that will have to be, you would think, in the next sort of three to five months because she's nearly you know, a month old and... Um, who knows? I mean, maybe they'll come back for Christmas. Maybe we'll see them uh, have the but christening here. Is this, this here. book's coming out? I mean, will the book put those plans... Well, you, listen, the, the book is coming out late next year, but obviously I oh, think I we see. will be hearing things seep out about it. Um, Harry has made no uh, bones about sort of trashing his family mm. in certain quarters. The Oprah Winfrey interview, he did another documentary, he's done a podcast. I mean, it, but you know, barely draw breath and Harry isn't sort of saying anything about uh, his upbringing or, um, or, you know, slamming different members of his family. So um, it's, not, it's pretty uncomfortable at the moment for, for the family and it's pretty uncomfortable for Harry. 
Harry if he wants to come back, I imagine. Uh, but it has been business as usual, hasn't it, for Charles and Camilla? Well, of course. Duties continue. Listen, don't they do. And uh, they, These are uh, lovely duties to have, though, aren't they? I mean, These I'm more particular impressed ones. that he was wearing a suit in 84 yes, degree heat, to be yes. honest. But um, they were in Devon and Cornwall over the last three days. And that was just to, you know, really give a boost to the local tourist industry, talking to children about uh, climate change, which, um, you know, these pictures here, it was like Prince Charles I didn't have the cameras there, making the kids feel at ease, and it was like a wonderful, wonderful occasion. He was surprised, listen, at uh, Harry's decision to um, to uh, bring these memoirs forward, but uh, mm. but getting on with the job at hand. Yes, and when you see him with those other children, you do think, gosh, he must be missing Harry's children. Oh, he must be missing you know, that two grandchildren. contact with his grandchildren, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, All right, well, thank you so much, you Russell. Nice to see. to see you. And I love the double denim, by the way. <laughs> Don't listen to Andy. <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.